Hey guys, it's Sissy from Just Kitty Photography from Sydney, Australia. Today I want to walk you through one of my newborn sessions we did in my client's home. Her home was a one bedroom apartment with not the best lighting, but eventually I managed to get a decent gallery out of this session. Just a little bit background of me, I'm a newborn photographer. Everything you see in this video is conducted by a trained professional. If you are just a mom and dad wanting to do your own baby's photo shoot, that's fine as a reference. But I highly recommend you get a lot of safety training before you start shooting babies. Let's dive straight in. So that's my suitcase I usually take to my client's home. It can fit a lot of my essentials in there. Today we're going to take a baby. Take the baby's bag. But things like beans, bean bags, bean bag frames, these bulky items I usually don't take to my client's home. Replacements like nappies, towels, blankets, all kind of things to stuff up. You can use your client's sofa as a bean bag. Therefore, one very important item is my light. Jingbei EF200 LED constant light and the light stand so that I make sure I'm dealing with no matter what lighting situation I may encounter in my client's home. You never know, sometimes they're good, sometimes not so good. In today's video, you'll see because of the orientation, the time when I turned up the, the lighting wasn't ideal. However, I managed to shoot some of the setups under the natural light with the bing back post shots because I conducted on the sofa, so I had to use the constant light instead. I start my session with prop setup. The first setup, I lay flat my fabric backdrop onto the floor because the floor has a carpet. It's very tricky to get it straight and wrinkle free. So I looked around and used some cans and bottles to hold the fabric backdrop in place. So I used this cane bed and put in my wool fluff. I started my workflow by full wrapping the baby in a potato sack wrap. Detailed tutorial of how I do the potato sack in a round shape can be found in my teaching video down in the link below. Since the baby was awake, a full swaddle can help her to fall asleep. At this stage, her eyes are still wide open, but I can see she's about to doze off. I lay her down into the basket, put the bonnet on. Cut off the little koala from the parents. The next step is gently unwrap the baby, put a different headband on, take off all the outer layers except for the very internal one, just so we make sure the baby is still asleep. Try our best not to disturb the baby that much. I spread the baby's arms out, chin up, make sure her face is not being squashed and her pose is looking comfortable. All the accessories look flattery as well. The next setup is beanbag poses. Since I didn't have my beanbag or beanbag frame around me, I used the couch from the home. The couch is away from the window, so I had to use my constant light. I laid a lot of blankets on top of the sofa. The reason is, the more layers you put on, the smoother your surface will be. You don't want to end up having a lot of wrinkles to add in your post-production. With regards to my beanbag workflow, I start with the baby's back pose. Then I transit the baby into a froggy pose. This froggy pose I wouldn't recommend to unprofessionals or untrained photographers. It's not my everyday pose, however, I do try if the baby allows me to pose. If she doesn't, I skip. This baby, she's very sleepy, so I pose her into the froggy, get the dad to hold the head, and I hold the wrist to a composite shot. Remember, safety is always the first. Then I lay her head down and do another pose. After that, I was about to do the chin on hands pose on the pillow. Variations could be with the headband, without the headband, far away and close up. The final setup is the parents pose. Still, I'm using my constant light with the umbrella. Place it in front of my window to create a backlit lighting. Because they are facing towards the window, so their face is not too dark. Detailed tutorial of how I achieved these photos you can find in another video down here. Okay, I hope today's video helps. Remember, always get your training properly before you put your hands on your baby, especially if you're just starting out. I've got a series of teaching you how to do newborn photo shoot from wrapping, posing, lighting, until the final retouch. Link in the description down below. Whether you're starting out or you've done newborn photography for a little while, you'll always learn something new from me. Remember to give me a thumb up and hit the subscribe button down below. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!